Washington Orphan News dual two arms, dual or full soda lines, volunteer tear right to your two arms. The plan is soda bottle test first, and once it's set to a Vermont distortion, and then turn up a little shot, 800 milliwatts at 14.86. Let's see if the clipping test, which is the unsoda bottle test, gets set to around 50. There you go. No, it looks like it's not quite going to make it. 936 at 14.28. Statistically, that is within the range uh, of definitely making its way to the power of the What about dynamically? Can we get it? 950? Yes, we do. 991, can it bust a thousand? I think that's what we're going to get. 991 at 14.42. Efficiency, 69%. It's dropping a little bit here at 2 ohms. Finally, we'll do the 1 ohm run. No readings were provided, and if you want to check the link in the description, I'll leave it in the description. Certified test first, here 1% distortion, 1,247 watts at 14.26 volts. Try that uncertified test. Is that the one of clipping, clipping, kicking? Give me a little more. 1,379 watts at 14.11. Alright, what about dynamic? Has it got a dynamic bump? Oh yeah. 15, 15, 15, 15. watts, 14.32. Let's check the efficiency. 66%. One of Here's the result. All this tension, all this, you can see things individually. And what about Showing the power during these tests can be deceiving because there are amps I've used that have less power shown here than this one and actually sound as loud or louder to me. In this case, we got 1125 watts at 1.9 ohms. That's good power for this budget amp. Now let's find out what's inside this $100 class D piece of Chinesium. So we're going to take the bottom off. There are eight different screws. 